Rains from Hurricane Ivan caused massive flooding in towns here like Carnegie, Millvale and Etna. Those towns are busy today making preparations and Andy Sheehan joins us in Etna where Ivan weighs heavily on people's minds. Andy. Well, Megan, Ivan dumped six inches of rain here on Etna in less than 24 hours to devastating effect. Now the borough says it's done everything it can to prevent that from happening again. After a day of relentless rains, the floodwaters came fast and furious, a towering wall of water rising out of Pine Creek, instantly turning streets into rivers, neighborhoods into lakes, flooding more than 400 homes and businesses in Etna alone. It was up to here, and it came in a matter of minutes. Ivan's five-foot-high flood surge is marked by this line in Alioto's bar and restaurant. And bartender Judy Sundo remembers the day when employees and customers ran for their cars and their lives. Just pulled out just in the nick of time. And then the next day, tables and everything were overturned, mud, and you couldn't even get down here. With those memories of Ivan still fresh and Ida on the way, Etna's public works crews got busy today in preparation cleaning out storm sewers and attaching these flood barriers to Barrow Hall for protection against high waters. But other measures have been in the works for years. This is the bridge that um, Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, PennDOT, raised 18 inches. During Ivan, massive amounts of debris piled up against this bridge, creating a dam and spilling floodwaters into the street. The borough hopes that raising this and the adjoining railroad bridge will prevent that. Further upstream in Shaler, these pillars have been installed to trap debris before it gets that far. All lessons learned since Ivan. It really did um, galvanize us to start working really hard on addressing stormwater and flooding issues to the best that we can. The hope here is that if Ida or any other flood event threatens, the borough and the residents will be prepared. Aetna has also installed water level monitors like this one and has a text alert system to issue warnings or evacuation orders to ensure the past does not repeat itself. And the fear is very real. The trauma is very real. And now the hope here is uh, God willing and the creek don't rise. But if it does, the borough hopes that these measures that they've put in place will keep it in check. Reporting live in Aetna, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.